Hello everyone. My name is Samuel Larson and I'm walking us through the instructional design framework, the ADDIE model. The ADDIE model is a widely used, widely adapted framework for designing instruction. So what is the ADDIE model? ADDIE is a framework that is thought to have come out of Florida State University in military instructional design application. However, those origins are unclear. That being said, it generally describes a process-based approach to developing instructional content. And it is regarded by many as the most popular framework because it is so widely adapted and utilized. It is useful for learning experiences big and small, complex and simple. There are five phases for ADDIE. A is for analyze, analyze the learning situation. D is for design, design objectives and principles. D is for develop, develop your resources. I is for implement, implement learning resources. And E, E is for evaluate, evaluate how resources addressed your needs. And as you can see, this is a full circle for the design, implementation, and revision of learning materials. Now we will quickly go through each letter of the acronym and A is for analyze. During the analysis phase, we're gathering information. We're critiquing and analyzing this information. We begin with our audience and think about our learners. What types of learners are coming into our learning experience? What attitudes are they bringing? What goals do we have for the training? What tasks are to be completed in this training? Based on this information, we can decide on a learning theory or approach to take with the remaining steps in the acronym. Phase two is design, the second step in the ADDIE model. In the design phase, our project begins to take shape. We create some sketches based on the data from the analysis phase. We begin with writing learning objectives and we create a framework for our course. This leads into course construction in phase three. Phase three is develop. The development phase involves the transition from the contemplative to the physical implementation. So up to this point, we have been analyzing the data and creating a framework. Now we are putting those ideas down into a physical form. This is the final structure and content of the course created in accordance with all the elements and parameters defined in the first two phases. Phase four is implement. We're implementing our course, and this is our trial run, the first test. We give an introduction and use of course materials for our students. We identify how the instructor supports the learners, and we provide student enrichment and communication channels. Phase five is evaluate. Tasks of this phase include defining what parameters mean effectiveness has been achieved. How do we determine if our course was successful? We ensure analysis of feedback from participants, which typically comes in the form of survey data. And we set up quality assurance procedures to ensure that as fine tuning and fixes need to be made to the instructional materials that that takes place. This graphic in the bottom right illustrates how evaluation truly comes in all phases of the ADDI model. We have formative evaluation for the first four phases, analysis, design, development, and implementation. And it is after implementation that we have a summative evaluation of the work that has been done thus far. The beauty of the ADDI model is this need or ease of ability to go back and assess 
and evaluate each of the individual steps. Now let's take a look at a, an example of the ADDI model. The ADDI model in action. I provided a simple example and this example is for a new hire training. So this is a corporate training example and we begin with the A in analyze. We're going to go through each of the steps in the ADDI model together. So in A for analyze we take a close look at our desired outcomes which include an understanding of job duties, a practice and application of job duties, and an understanding and compliance with company policies. Those are our outcomes. And so then we take a close look at our target population, our new hire employees. And typically new hires bring a lot of enthusiasm to the learning process. What learning theory or approach should we use? I chose for this example situated learning theory as this will grant new hires the opportunity to learn from the real, well, simulated real environment. So we design this training, making it as close to the real environment as is possible. There, thereby, our new hires will learn not just from our modules, but on their own through the simul simulated environment. Once we've completed the analysis phase, we move on to the D for design, phase two. And the first thing we want to do is take the information from the analyze step and create our learning objectives. We need to establish what we want our learners to achieve. And with these learning objectives, we can start making some sketches of what type of content could be used to help our learners meet those learning objectives and thereby we are creating a framework or structure for our course as well as taking a close look at who would be involved in the development of this course. Phase three is development. We're going to put the first two phases into a physical form and we're going to utilize those materials to create learning modules and we'll continually apply formative evaluation and return to steps one and two as needed. Phase four of the new hire training, if implement, we're going to conduct an initial trial run of the training and then we'll activate the training for users. We begin with an overview of contents. We identify learner objectives for our learners. We teach them how to use their given LMS and we ensure participants know the flow of, of communication so that they are able to be supported. Phase five is evaluate our new hire trainings. What is success? Well, success is defined as successful completion of the training course with learner satisfaction with training and job performance and employee retention. All of this comes from our various forms of data. While geared toward instructional systems development, the ADDI model is something that could be utilized to serve developers in a wide range of learning contexts. Thank you very much for tuning in.